Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. You're probably wondering why I don't have a video of myself, but I will tell you that I had a little incident with a camera and I'm working on it. So next video camera should be back. But what I want to talk about uh, before, actually, I want to thank you all for being here. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about in this video is I've had some questions about VLANs and why we use VLANs and why we don't use huge, enormous subnets. And, uh, you know, part of the reason that we don't use huge, enormous subnets is because they're inefficient as far as uh, QoS, broadcast, multicast, uh, collision domains, um, and uh, security goes, right? So what I'm going to uh, talk about in this quick video is I'm going to show you a network and I'm going to uh, use some pictures I'm going to draw here and then I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about why we use uh, uh, VLANs from a security, so an access point uh, or firewall rule standpoint. We'll get into like the quality of service and some of that other stuff in some other videos if you're interested. So what I'm gonna do is if you've seen my other videos where we talk about subnet masks and networks and all that, what I'm doing here is I'm drawing a visualization of, and I, and I'm drawing on my Wacom. So uh, this is going to be our network, right? And so this boundary would be what? Our subnet mask, right? Because it defines how big the network is. So we've got all these little hosts in here. And they're all in the same network. So to talk to each other, you know, they, they don't really have to know much because they're in the same network. They don't have to know how to get anywhere else. They don't have a router to tell them how to get there. So these hosts can, can talk to each other, right? So right now, uh, one of the big advantages of having another VLAN is the security and being able to filter this communication out, right? So you can filter this communication out right now, but you would have to use a uh, host-based uh, firewall on each of these devices and you have to manage it. Now, could you do it through a group policy? Could you do it through some sort of software? Sure. But the matter of the fact is that these clients are still all in this same network. So they can all really kind of still see each other, see what's going on. And now what you've done is you've created another management layer to try to block this traffic you know, to stop these two from talking to each other, uh, you've created this um, and it could fail. It could, you could have all kinds of issues, right? So what's a better way to do it? A better way to do it would be to use a VLAN. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, um, let's see here. I don't know if I can get rid of bunch of this stuff. Bear with me. I just started using this Miro app and this is pretty cool. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another network over here. It may not be the same size. It might roughly be the same or not, but what we've got going on now is we've got VLAN 1. So this is your native VLAN. And we'll call this VLAN 2. Now what we've got is because these are different networks. These two things cannot get out of this. They have no way. They don't know about each other, right? So there's no... There's no communication here yet, which means there's no broadcast, there's no multicast, there's no um, communication of, of any type between these two, right? And this gets a little bit blurred because then you have to talk about what kind of a device is actually communicating between your VLANs. Um, you have to have some sort of a layer three interface that does the routing between these two. And so many devices, blur this, um, you know, because you've got, you know, router, firewall, um, all the things built into, you know, one box these days. 
Um, but larger networks will have, have these, you know, segmented out. Anyway, now, as it stands right now, these are completely um, independent, right? So uh, there's no talking between these right now. Um, if we're going to change that, we've got to have some sort of a device, right? So um, we'll call this a router. Universal symbol for a router here. And it'll be plugged into this little place and this little place. And so now these packets by default can get through um, the network. Let me draw that a little differently. So now they can go through the router. Oh my. They can go through the router and back and forth. If we want to stop that, now we need, if it's a router, we need ACLs. Um, if it's a firewall, we need firewall rules. If it's a switch, we're also going to use ACLs, access control lists. And what that's going to do is that's going to tell whatever this device is, whatever this L3 device is right here, the ACL is going to tell this L3 device what packets are allowed to traverse between the VLANs. And why is that important? Well, uh, let's say that, uh, just for giggles, that these are hike vision cameras. And over here we've got Windows 10 server. Right? Well, do you want your hike vision cameras being able to talk to your Windows boxes or even getting out to um the internet here's our angry cloud do we even want you know this communication happening out to the internet probably not right so what's going to happen is uh, your layer 3 device is going to have those acls um, or the firewall rules to keep that from happening. So without a, uh, you know, we were blocking with that an entire, the entire uh, VLAN at one time, right? We're not managing it on a host by host um, setup. Now we could, we could still do that. And a lot of times we will do that, right? So like if you had a camera server over here, you know, we might uh, allow traffic from here to traverse through and get to the camera server, but not allow the individual cameras to get out right? They are going to talk to the camera server only. And this is just one example, but, but, uh, you know, like I said, you can manage it the hard way over here, or you can manage it the smart way, set up a VLAN, leverage your layer three device to do the ACLs uh, or the firewall rules. and uh, segregate these devices completely. If you've got any questions um, about this, you know, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you want to hire us, there's a link down below. Uh, you go to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and uh, someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. You can also click hire us. All of our affiliate links are down below. Make sure that you give uh, this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. 
And if you've got any questions about this, like I said, make sure you're asking them down below. And as always, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.